Good afternoon and welcome. This is Orphan Car Garage. My name is John. I'm the owner here at Orphan Car Garage. And of course, we are in the lovely town of Abington, Massachusetts, about 30 minutes south of the great city of Boston. So again, what we do here is we try to find homes for orphaned vehicles, cars that are currently homeless and need a new home. And some of that includes consignments. So I will take a car in that belongs to somebody else and assist them in selling the vehicle, doing things like these YouTube videos, listing them on national websites, answering the message boards, handling the transaction, and uh, getting the car transported to its new forever home, uh, all for a flat fee of $995, not a percentage like most consigners take. So the car here in front of us is exactly one of those cases. It's a consignment. This is a 1990 BMW 325i convertible. These cars you probably know are quite iconic. Uh, there's not a whole lot of cars from the decade of the 1980s that we could be considered collectible cars, but this is absolutely positively one that you would consider a collectible car. These cars became quite popular in the late 1980s in Hollywood. The Hollywood Brat Pack drove these cars. They were in a lot of the Brat Pack movies. Uh, BMW called it the ultimate tanning machine in their advertising campaign. And of course they have that iconic BMW look. Very German. Some say that this is the last real BMW. This is the E30 model and it came out in 1982 and went to 1994 and they built over 2 million of these cars for worldwide distribution. I was unable to find actual production figures for the convertible model. I read four different articles and saw four different sales figures so I really don't trust any of them so I'm not going to try to quote how many convertibles were sold specifically in the US but I'm going to assume quite a few. The issue with these cars were they fell into the wrong hands by the second, third, fourth, sometimes fifth owners that got a hold of these cars didn't maintain them property, properly. Excuse me. And these cars require absolute proper maintenance. The vehicle here in front of us has been maintained to a T since day one. We have a folder of receipts to prove it. There are a lot of trouble areas on these cars now that they're 30 plus years old. Do your research. The struts on these cars are known to fail. They've been replaced on this car. The rack and pinion steering gear is known to fail and leak. It's been replaced in this car. What you want to pay very close attention to is timing belt maintenance. It's crucial on these cars. It's recently been replaced on this car as well as the water pump because it makes no sense to do the timing belt without doing the water pump. So the owner of this vehicle sprung to have the water pump done at the same time, a smart move. The convertible top has been replaced with a correct Hartz cloth top. It's a very expensive job. No expense was spared in the maintenance of this vehicle. I can't stress that enough. You can find these. This car has just over 100,000 miles. Just over 100. I think it's 100, 247 to be exact. You can find lower mileage examples of these cars for around the same money. But let me tell you something, you do not want a low mileage version of this car because that means, although it's got low mileage, it's got all its original parts. And you're gonna be investing into that car with the previous owner or current owner of this car invested into this car. It's all done, ready to drive. It has a beautiful, we'll call it a sterling silver metallic paint. Very correct for the car. Those BBS inspired wheels are correct from the factory. The car has a sport seating package with the extendable thigh support in the seats. And of course, you've probably already noticed a five speed manual transmission. Not easy to find in these cars. Most of these convertibles were automatics. This is a desirable five speed transmission. As we walk around the vehicle, you'll see that there's virtually no flaws in the car at all. Even has its original accessory BMW splash guards. There's a little bit of a seam, seam separation on the back seat right here. Other than that, the interior is pristine. Heated leather seats. There's the heater controls right there for the seats. Those operate 
power windows with standard equipment in the convertible and they work fine in this car. Obviously they're all down. The convertible tops on these cars were manual and the convertible top, like I said, on this particular car has been replaced and it's in like new condition. I have pictures of the top raised on my website. So I would recommend anybody check out the gallery of pics we have of this car there. So this is an, a 325i, which means it has a has a 2.5 six-cylinder engine. That engine put out about 170 horsepower. Certainly not too shabby, especially for 1990. And the five-speed transmission obviously helps that. I'm going to show you the engine here. We're going to start the car. Everything in the car works to spec. Beautiful interior. The door panels are like new. The carpeting, the carpeting is like brand new. It's all original, it's original interior. Uh, and, and a lot of times this leather started to wear and crack. There's really very little or none. Start it for you here. Everything works. It has that information center up here. It's doing its check. checks out. I'll pop the hood. Very well sorted engine bay. Nice and clean. You can see it runs very nice. No modifications. The car is all factory stock. Anything and everything that needed to be done on this car has been done. No expense spared. I know I keep saying that, but on these German cars, Mercedes-Benz are the same. You really want to think twice before buying a super low mileage example. Just a really, really sharp car. These cars, like I said earlier in the video, have become very collectible can't say that about a lot of cars from this generation it wasn't the best in build quality for cars in general but of course BMW was known for its craftsmanship then as well as now and this car proves its longevity this car was built like a tank just a classic design it's just going to appreciate in value these cars are going to go up in value they have gone up in value money in the bank as far as I'm concerned it's got those cool fog lights the trim the bezels emblems on this car are all virtually perfect so there you have it a little unusual for us here at Orphan Car Garage a German car but certainly worthy of a new forever home this 1990 325i Cabriolet is being offered here at $24,900 if you're an enthusiast and if you've done your research on these cars, you know that that price is a reasonable valuation for this car. Give us a call, 508-954-8090. Talk to us. If you're a BMW enthusiast, we certainly want to talk to you about this car. We want this car to go to the right home. I can go over all the receipts that we have on the car. Like I said, there's a whole folder of them. I can arrange shipping to anywhere in the world reasonably priced i can take any photos or additional videos you'd like to see of the car again check out my website orphancargarage.com i have a whole gallery of photos there the undercarriage of this car is as clean as the top surfaces this car came to us from california and had spent time most of its life in the southern states prior to california absolutely positively no rust on this car ever Give me a call. My name is John, 508-954-8090. Spring is here. Get out there and enjoy it with this beautiful 1990 convertible from BMW.